Hello everyone. We present the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the latest high-end chipset that will work on devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The revolution of generative artificial intelligence that you've been waiting for from the flagship Android 2024 is already here. The Qualcomm AI engine for 4 nanometer TSMC was developed with a special focus on generative artificial intelligence to bring to life new use cases. It supports multimodal generative AI models to provide new capabilities based on voice, text, and image inputs. On-device personalization is enhanced due to the increased AI performance of the Qualcomm Sense and Hub up to 3. This means that assistants like BXB or Google Assistant will be better able to use your preferences to provide more personalized responses. The improved Hexagon NPU can boast a 98% performance increase over last years. Qualcomm claims an increase in CPU performance of 30% and a 20% increase in energy efficiency. The Creo processor has one main core based on ARM Cortex-X4 with a frequency of up to 3, 3 GHz, which is 100 mAh faster than the previous chip. Five performance cores are one more than last year, running up to 3, 2 GHz and two efficiency cores at 2, 3 GHz, all of them totaling 4,300 mAh faster than Snapdragon 8 G2. Improving the gaming experience on mobile devices was another focus of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The company claims that the updated GPU from Adreno is 25% faster with the same power consumption. Hardware accelerated ray tracing last year's novelty has been improved thanks to support for global illumination and Unreal Engine 5. Mobile gamers will especially appreciate the support for games at 240 frames per second. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 also supports some AI-powered camera creative tools, such as the ability to expand the photo beyond what was captured, create background, and even remove objects from videos. The first 200-megapixel Samsung image sensor optimized for Snapdragon supports the Zoom Any Place feature, allowing multiple video clips to be captured, object tracking, and zooming. Samsung is missing from this list, but even though we know that the XNOS chipset is returning to the Galaxy S24 series, there's no reason to worry. Some of you may recall that in last year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 announcement, Samsung was also not mentioned. This is because Com announced a slightly overclocked Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor for the Galaxy when Samsung introduced the Galaxy S23 series in February this year. So while the company has not confirmed this, we will likely see Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for the Galaxy, which will be introduced just before the launch of the Galaxy S24. This means that a bit more power can be extracted from this chipset and Qualcomm will do this for the iteration that will appear in Samsung's next generation flagship lineup. It will be an interesting showdown between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Exynos 2400 and at the moment, Qualcomm seems to be giving its competitor a significant run for its money. It's no secret that Samsung wants to produce 3 nanometer chips next year and plans to establish production by 2022 and 2027 respectively. However, the company will not be making its next Exynos processor on either of these processes. The next generation Exynos 2400, which is expected to be used in the Galaxy S24 flagship phones in many markets next year, is a 4 nanometer chip. According to a new message from Korea Media, Samsung's first 3 nanometer AC solution will be intended for the next generation of Galaxy watches in the second half of 2024. I'll keep you updated, so please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Wishing you all the best.